hello everyone welcome to adobe photoshop tutorial when you open the software you will get an interface like this to get started you have to import an image for that go to where you have an image on your computer that you want to import on photoshop i have arranged a few photos here to show you now let me import an image simply by dragging and dropping the photo on photoshop like this then i get a few options here here is a learn tab that i don't need i can collapse to icons to make it disappear there are a lot of tabs here as we can see i can delete it, them like this the tabs i which i don't need or if i want them back i can go to window and you know i uh, here are my tabs here is my color tabs i can get it back like this if you check mark or any of these tabs you can get them back and you can close them if you don't need them also there are a lot of things here you can if you don't need them you can simply delete them like this here is a toolbar you can move your toolbar like this you can click here to make it a double line toolbar or click here to make it a single line toolbar you can also click this cross if you don't need it but you need it so don't get scared if you remove uh, something that is important uh, if you have removed something important for example even this layer for uh, i have removed all the tools you can simply go to window workspace and make sure your essentials is checked and uh, then you go to reset essentials if you click this then as you can see all my tools and everything is back and then i like my toolbar to be in a double line toolbar like this so i'm going to keep it like this this learn tab i don't need i'm going to collapse it then uh, you can m modify it according to your needs on which tabs you need and which tabs you do not want on your layer you can also put the layer tab on the top like this this paths for example if you don't need it you can simply erase it also erase this and you, you know you get the point this is how you can customize your own layer i like to keep the, the adjustments menu and the layer menu and i delete rest of them so now let me go back to the tools here we have move tool we have a layer here if this layer is locked like this then you cannot move it with move tool you have to convert it to normal layer now you can convert it to normal layer simply by clicking this lock icon then now the layer is unlocked and you can move it move this photo the way you like and next we have this eye icon here if you click this eye icon this layer will disappear and if you click this eye icon again uh, then this photo will reappear next we have two options here one is opacity what is this if my opacity is 100 percent then the photo will be completely visible if my opacity is 60 percent then the photo will lose some visibility and the opacity value is if zero percent then the photo will disappear completely so let me and next we have if i select this layer we have another option called fill if my fill is 100 percent the photo will show full if my fill is 60 percent as you can see the photo disappears a little and if my fill is zero percent then the photo will become 100 percent transparent uh, for you know if you uh, so when you are working make sure that your opacity and fill value is at 100 percent and if you want to add another layer a blank layer on this photo you can simply create a layer by simply by clicking here as you can see that way a blank layer has been appeared and uh, if you want to delete the any layer you can simply click the uh, layer you want to delete and simply click here to delete this layer now let me where can i use this opacity and fill value let me show you ex an example for example let me import this photo on photoshop and let me place it here so now as you can see we have a photo of another model here uh, now uh, let me copy this layer by hitting ctrl c on my keyboard ctrl or command c and then hitting ctrl or command v on my photo here now we have two photos in one canvas now what i can do is while well, select uh, being selected on this layer i can decrease the opacity value to 50 percent that way i can see both of the photos if i for example ever need to measure something uh, to you know for example if i want this model's size and this model size on the photo to be exactly same then i can simply put her on top of her and then see both of them and uh, measure how much uh, difference we have in these two photos you can use this images like this uh, now let me delete this layer and let's go back to the move tool so if we select move tool here you can simply move this photo like this and if this show transform controls if this button box is checked then you see six dots appear in this image with these six dots appearing in this image you can simply make it smaller or bigger according to your needs if you hit shift and then make the photo smaller or bigger then it will not care about its it, this image layers ratio and you can uh, make this photo any size but if you hit ctrl z it will undo that uh, the more uh, and then if you 
want uh, to keep its original ratio just simply drag uh, just drag and play with this image to keep its original ratio now let me show you another thing for example this photo as you can see is a little bit underexposed uh, how you can color correct photos in photoshop very easily let me show you uh, to color correct this image you have to go to adjustments and then if your adjustment is not there you can simply bring it back by clicking window and this uh, by giving by clicking this adjustments here it will bring the adjustments back now what you're going to do is you're going to select these curves and by selecting these curves you will just simply pull up this curve a little bit uh, the amount you need and it will fix the color of this photo very easily so this is how you can color correct a photo very fast in photoshop simply by using this curve if you make the curve go up then it will brighten the photo and if you make the curve go down then it will decrease the exposure so this is how you can use the curve if i show you look I, if i decrease the curve then as you can see the photo becomes underexposed if i increase the curve then the photo's exposure becomes okay so now this is this looks fine so you can adjust your curve accordingly just use two points one point on top one point on bottom to you know fix photos uh, exposure very fast and very very easily just by uh, using one curve and as you can see this curve is on its own layer if i uh, deselect the curve as you can see it becomes the original color if i increase the curve then as you can see the photos before and after now this photo looks very beautiful photoshop can color correct photos better than lightroom simply with this one tool that is called curves okay so now let's me go back to the move tool and if i am on the move tool uh, i have uh, this show control transform controls which i have shown you next we have auto select layer what this auto select auto la uh, layer does let me create a new file by hitting file new if you hit create as you can see a new page is not creating if this problem appears to you then you have to go to let uh, edit let me move myself in this side for a little while then you go to edit preferences then go to general after that you make sure to check mark this use legacy new document interface and hit ok now you can create new files then go to file new and as you can see this is the legacy new document interface now from here um, i can there are so many options as you can see there, there is option of a web this is mobile app design and inside it has so many pieces for example for showing you uh, what you can do with this auto select layer let me just make an a4 size paper the the size of uh, if we all know what a4 size paper means the size of the a4 size paper is 210 millimeter you can ch change it here if you want to uh, and height is 297 millimeter and resolution 300 per pixel per inch and background color is white then always i'm going to name it test auto select layer always name your layer uh, that way your work will be organized and then hit ok as you can see i have now created a new page then i'm going to go back to this photo and copy this layer by hitting ctrl c on my keyboard and then if i hit ctrl v on my keyboard this photo has been pasted here as you can see but this photo is very high resolution to zoom out what you can do is you can hit ctrl minus on your keyboard that way the photo will zoom out and then you can simply select any of the dots and make the photo as small as you want and then you can hit ctrl plus to make the page back bigger again as you can see the photo i have uh, copied uh, it is in its own layer if you hit uh, alt on your keyboard and then simply just drag the photo like this it makes a copy if you select both of the photos and then hit alt and then drag the photos down by clicking your mouse it makes two more copies and all the copies are in their individual layers if you select all four of the images and then hit alt on your uh, keyboard as you can see you can make more copies you can make as and many copy photos as you want simply by hitting the alt key so now if your this auto select layer is checked like this you can individually move any photo you want very fast you don't have to care about which layer uh, it is selected on this layer menu but this auto select layer is not checked then you can only move the layer that is selected in this layer menu you cannot move this photo uh, or this photo as you can see you cannot move this photo this photo you can only move the photo that is selected in this layer menu as you can see so always make sure that this auto select layer is checked that way you will be able to move any photo you want very easily it will make your workflow faster next we have another option here that is called auto select group what this does is uh, let me group make a group to show you i can select the first layer like this and i can select the last layer like this while hitting the shift key and then if i right click on it then here i get a option that is called group from layers i can simply click this 
and I get this new uh, group from layers option if I uh, make it um, let me name this group test auto select group then hit ok as you can see all these layers are now in the inside this group now I can move all the members of this group very easily if my auto select group is selected and my if my auto select layer is selected then I can move one photo at a time individually like this so this was move tool now there is another tool inside the move tool that is called artboard tool if i select this artboard tool and make a uh, drawing like this as you can see this artboard has been selected you can if you ever make a mistake you can just simply hit uh, ctrl z to undo that then redo again so i have made this artboard tool and then if i hit this plus sign i can make as many artboards as i want and then what i can do is let me go to the layers menu and let me co collapse this test group layer then let me hit ctrl minus to make it uh, a little bit smaller and then uh, i have a few photos here uh, if i want i can import these photos for example here in this menu as you can see my artboard 4 is selected if i import a photo in artboard 1 as you can see it will not import in artboard 1 it will import in artboard 4 so you have to be careful on we in this layer menu which la uh, artboard you, you are selected in so if i select artboard 3 and then if i import a photo in artboard 2 it will go to this artboard 3 so uh, then when it is imported you can select this check mark click on this check mark and as you can see this photo has been imported uh, you can now edit uh, similar type of photos in by creating multiple artboards your uh, workflow will be faster uh, let me move myself to this side but if you you know don't uh, if you don't have a strong pc then i do i will not recommend you to use artboards in photoshop you edit in sim single layers like this uh, but if you have a strong computer then i recommend you can use artboards to edit your photos in photoshop so this was uh, artboard tool now let me delete this i don't need this anymore next we have is this rectangular mark tool so if you see if i select this rectangular mark tool four options appear on the top these options will be available in so many other tools too so all their applications will be same in all other tools so i'm just going to show you now what they do if i select i am selected in this rectangular mark tool and select this a new selection i can make one selection only at a time as you can see i can make only one selection at a time if i select this uh, add to selection option then i can uh, increase the selection or i can make multiple selections like this or increase you know selections by uh, drawing another box on it next we have here is subtract from selection you can delete selections simply by drawing a box when you are selected in subtract from selection next we have is intersect with selection if this intersect with selection is selected then you draw uh, and you have multiple selections drawn in your uh, layer uh, if you make a new box while select being selected in this intersect with selection only the parts that were inside this new box will be selected and rest of the selections will get deleted this is what these four selection boxes do uh, as uh, you are a beginner or i always recommend that you uh, keep your uh, selections to this new selection so now uh, uh, if you have selections like this if you hit ctrl d on your keyboard then the selections will disappear next we have is uh, next let me select this rectangular mark tool and while selected on this layer let me uh, make a selection of this model now what you can do with this rectangular mark tool is you can increase the size of your subject in this photo if you need to you can hit ctrl t on your keyboard that way this uh, box appears on the model and then if you increase the photo like this and hit this check mark once you're satisfied and hit ctrl d to deselect as you can see this photo has uh, the subject in this photo has been uh, made bigger you can hit ctrl z to undo that what else you can do with this uh, uh, tool is if you are selected like this and you are selected in this layer uh, and you make a new selection uh, of this model like this then if you move her uh, before moving her you have to hit ctrl t on your keyboard and then if you move her as you can see you have completely moved uh, and then hit this tick mark and hit ctrl d to deselect as you can see you have moved the model completely from this image from one side to another side this is what you another work you can do with this um, rectangular mark tool you can hit ctrl z to undo that and uh, what else uh, another thing you can do with this uh, rectangular mark tool is if you make a selection like this and you while well selected in this layer and if you go to layer new layer via copy and then if you use move tool then you can see you have two uh, two subjects in the same image 
you can duplicate and make as many subjects as you want like this and this photo is in its individual level you can copy this layer and you know use it anywhere you if you need in your design you can hit ctrl z to undo that you can also make this model bigger one model bigger and one model smaller in the same photo if you want to do something like this too you can hit ctrl z to undo that and ctrl d to deselect so next we have this elliptical mark tool what this elliptical mark tool does is if you think that your model's head is a little tilted in one way like this you can fix that model's head very easily with this elliptical mark tool and it may uh, for example let me show you by making a selection as you can see it makes a elliptical circle elliptical shape selection if you uh, if you hit shift and then make this selection as you can see it makes a perfect circle every time and if you don't shift hit shift then you can make the elliptical uh, selection size any size you want then after selecting it like this you go to layer new layer via copy and as you can see this round selection has been made and it is in its own layer now you can if you need you can copy this layer and uh, use it any in any design if you want, need to be uh, need to then uh, let me show you how you can fix her head if it is a little bit tilted you uh, make this selection then hit ctrl t this box appears then you just simply tilt her a little bit and when you are satisfied click this check mark and as you can see and then uh, if you remove this selection simply by clicking this image as you can see you have fixed her hair a little bit now this was before this is after this is before this is after you can fix her hair's head still just by a little with this elliptical mark tool so let me delete this layer i don't need it anymore next we have this single row mark tool if i make a selection with this elliptical mark tool it seems like it did not make a selection but if we uh, zoom in a lot by hitting ctrl plus on my on our keyboard as you can see it did made a selection and the selection is one pixel in size if you go to this properties menu uh, you can see uh, the height is one pixel that means it has selected one pixel worth of size and uh, this is uh, you will see some photos information why this 672 pixels 6720 pixels uh, uh, the, as a beginner you don't need to understand uh, these things yet so next we have this single column mark tool if i click it like this as you can see it makes a column selection that is one pixel in height size so if you hit ctrl d it will g select let me go back to layers so next tool we have here let me hit ctrl minus to uh, make this photo smaller next we have here is lasso tool so while uh, selecting the lasso tool you can have this new selection selected if you hit caps lock on your keyboard if your caps lock is on then this plus sign will appear and if you uh, if your caps lock is off then this lasso tool symbol will appear then if you make a selection like this as you can see like i have made here i did not make it perfect like pen and paper you just simply draw a selection you can simply draw a selection like this and if you go to you can also you know if you have missed somewhere you can uh, go to this add to selection option and then uh, redraw like this to make the selection perfect and uh, uh, well as you can see if i hit ctrl plus it has missed a little then you can simply redraw it again like this here to make this perfect like this and if you want to delete selection you can select this in intersect subtract from selection and then if you for example i have missed here uh, just a little if i draw another selection like this as you can see it will deselect and if you need to uh, add some selection somewhere then you can simply uh, draw like this again to add to that selection and then when you are satisfied you simply go to layer new layer via and then you have to make sure that this uh, you are selected in this layer and then you have to go to layer new layer via copy and that way you get a perfect selection like this you can draw a selection with lesser tool simply by dragging your mouse like this uh, let me hit ctrl z to undo that next we have polygonal lesser tool so let me hit ctrl d to deselect and then if your caps lock is on then this plus sign will show and if your caps lock is off then this polygonal lesser tool sign will show and then if you make a selection with this uh, new selection being selected and then if you just simply click like this you have to click to make a selection with this with this tool and then you have to connect the starting point with the end point like this and then by double clicking it then you get a selection like this and now uh, same applies here if this is add to selection if you want to for example if i want to redraw it here by simply i can 
uh, well I am selected in the add to selection I can simply redraw this part of the image and connect the starting point with the end point and then you can easily uh, select new parts like this and if you want to remove a selection then you if you are selected in this subtract from selection and then if you make a uh, selection if you want to delete selection like this you can easily do so by simply subtracting it like this and when you are satisfied with your selection go to layer new layer uh, oh, you have to see make sure that your layer is selected like this and then go to layer new layer via copy and if you do that you get a perfect selection like this you can hit ctrl z to undo all of that and hit ctrl d to deselect next we have is magnetic lasso tool uh, so if you are selected in this magnetic lasso tool make sure that you are in this uh, new selection and then make sure you are selected in this layer if you are if your caps lock is on then this uh, this brush will show you can hit third bracket on your keyboard to increase your brush size uh, the bigger uh, if your brush uh, i recommend that you do not make your brush size too much big and then if you hit plus and then just simply drag a line like this in the subject photoshop will automatically make a selection for you very fast and very easily as you can see in this photo like this and then you connect the starting point with the end point and if you want to add to your selection you can simply hit this add to selection and then make another selection again and photoshop will uh, add that selection to you then once you are satisfied then you go to layer new layer via copy and you get a selection like this you can hit uh, so let me hit ctrl z to undo that next we have here is object selection tool so if you have this object selection tool selected and you make sure you are in this layer and this mood here is in rectangle so then you draw a rectangle like this and then as you can see you can very easily make a selection with this rectangle tool very fast like this and then you can go to layer new layer via copy and make a copy from this selection like this very easily and very fast you can hit ctrl z to undo that if your caps lock is off then this rectangle tools icon will show and if your caps lock is on then this plus sign will show so then we have is lesser tool in this object selection tool and we have mo lesser mood then if you just simply draw a line like this and connect the starting point with the end point as you can see photoshop will automatically make a selection for you for example if you m if it misses a place like this you can simply go to this uh, add to selection option and then redraw the part it has m missed then photoshop will again automatically make the selection for you now if you want to remove a selection from your image then you can simply go to this subtract from selection and then make a selection like this for example if i want this part to be removed photoshop will as you can see uh, photoshop has removed this part of the selection you have to draw it perfectly and that way photoshop will remove this part of the selection uh, you have to keep drawing to may uh, until you uh, have reached a part where you are satisfied with your selection so once you once you are satisfied you go to layer new layer via copy and then uh, photoshop as you can see you have a selection for you you can hit ctrl z to undo all of that ctrl d to sorry ctrl d to deselect and let me delete this layer so it is very important uh, which layer you are on when you are drawing a selection so next we have this quick selection tool so you can use third bracket on your keyboard to increase the brush size or decrease the brush size if your caps lock is on then this plus sign o will show and if your caps lock is off then this round brush will show you can also increase your brush size from this menu or decrease your brush size from this menu so let me hit third bracket on my keyboard to increase my brush size and then i am on this quick selection tool and then if i hit uh, just simply click on the subject as you can see photoshop will uh, select my subject with a few clicks and then if i go to layer new layer via copy and you can see it has made a very perfect selection for me uh, let me hit ctrl z to undo that next we have is magic wand tool so may i have to make sure that i am on layer zero then uh, with this magic wand tool i am going to select this add to selection option and then this tolerance value is very important let me hit deselect ctrl d to deselect the previous selection then if my tolerance value here is 5 and then if i click as you can see photoshop made a very small selection if my tolerance value is 50 and then if i click as you can see it has made a bigger selection if my tolerance value is 100 then if i click as you can see photoshop has I mean, uh, selected a bigger selection like this with a few clicks you can easily select a subject of your image with this magic wand tool just like this and then if you want to remove a subject uh, remove a part of your selection you can simply hit alt on your for example if you have for example selected extra parts of your image like this then what you can do is you can hit alt button on your keyboard that way it will go to this option here from this option uh, as you can see my 
selection tool it has a plus now which is this add to selection then uh, this subtract from selection you don't have to select it you just simply hit alt on your keyboard and photoshop automatically moves it to subtract from selection and your uh, selections plus becomes a minus and then if you click as you can see you it has selected uh, it has made a selection for you if it misses anywhere you can simply click again to make photoshop select that part then when you are satisfied you can go to layer new layer via copy and then as you can see photoshop has made a very perfect selection for you so you can hit ctrl z to undo that next we have here is crop tool so if you are crop tool is selected let me hit ctrl d to deselect the previous selection so if you if you are selected in this crop tool then uh, you can hit the, uh, the you can you know simply crop it very easily uh, by simply dragging this box in, in your image and once you are satisfied you can simply click on this check mark and as you can see photoshop has cropped this image for you you can hit ctrl z to undo that next we have a few options one is ratio if you are selected in this ratio then you can write any ratio you want here in this box for example 1 is to 1 or 16 is to 9 you can write any ratios and if you hit this check box then it photoshop will crop your photo in that ratio you can hit ctrl z to undo that there are a lot of ratio pre-built ratios here for your 1 is to 1 4 is to 5 5 is to 7 2 is to 3 16 is to 9 and then you can fix this ratio like this and once you are satisfied uh, you can move your image like this you can crop it like this while keeping the original ratio once you are satisfied if you click this check mark photoshop as you can see photoshop has done your cropping for you next we have another option in this cropping that is white uh, into hide into resolution if you select this one this preset as you can see it has a lot of then you can crop your photo by you know selecting inches uh, if you for example if you want this photo to become two inch by two inch you just simply write here to i n i two space i n by two space i n and as you can see photoshop has made it two inch by two inch then you put your resolution 300 pixel per inch and then as you can see photoshop has made a crop preview for you then you can make it smaller like this smaller like this and may uh, for this is a size for a passport size photo if you want to make a passport size photo like this only hard head part is ne uh, needed inside this box and then if you click this check mark as you can see photoshop has made this photo in two inch by two inch and now there are, uh, uh, you can hit ctrl z to undo that there are a lot of presets are built in inside like for example 4 inch by 5 inch 300 ppi 8 inch by 11 inch 300 p pixel per inch you can select from these presets too or you can just simply you know for uh, write yourself like this 2 inch by 2 inch and then you can make them smaller like this and this if you make it smaller uh, to fit inside a passport size photo and then if you check this tick mark as you can see photoshop has made it two inch by two inch a passport size photo so crop tool is ve very important tool why because you can make very precise and accurate selections with these crop tools like i have showed you here so next we have is this frame tool so let me import another photo to show you this frame tool uh, let me import this photo by simply dragging it and dropping it here so if this frame tool if this frame tool is selected then you get two frames one is a uh, one is a rectangle frame and uh, one is an elliptical frame here on top as you can see one this one is rectangle this one is elliptical so if you make a selection with this rectangle frame and then if you if this layer is locked then you just simply have to unlock it and then put this layer zero into frame and as you can see for uh, this photo is still there but it is now inside a frame now you can save it and uh, you know the photo is still there as you can see so you have to adjust it on which part of this picture you want in this frame and then you can save it and use it in your uh, project uh, you can hit ctrl z to undo that next we have this elliptical frame then if you draw a box as you can see photoshop has made a elliptical frame then if you unlock your photo and put it inside as you can see uh, this photo is inside this elliptical frame and then you can print it or do whatever you want with this photo so let me hit ctrl z to undo that Oh, there are some other tools inside this crop tool which is uh, after crop tool we have this prospective crop tool so if we select this prospective crop tool and make you can make someone make a model in, turn into a model into a cartoon with this perspective called crop tool let me show you by making a frame like this here 
um, then if I s make her head smaller like this and let me uh, make it a and then uh, let me make her head a little bit more small and then if I hit this check mark as you can see the Photoshop has turned this model into a cartoon like form so if you if you want you can use this uh, perspective crop tool in these methods you can hit ctrl z to undo that next we have is slice tool uh, so web developers use this slice slice tool to uh, cut image and then they upload them in the web uh, for example you select the slice tool and you make a selection like this and if you want uh, for example if you need to uh, adjust your selection then you select the slice select tool uh, with this slice select tool you can adjust the size of the selection you have made with si slice select tool you can hit ctrl z to undo that so next we have is eyedropper tool with uh, eyedropper tool is used to s take uh, no color from your image if i click her forehead as you can see her forehead's color and the s uh, and the color code of her forehead is here if i click her eye then her c color code of her eye and her color is here if i click her dress then as you can see her the color of her dress and the color code of her dress is here so you can identify colors with this eyedropper tool next we have is uh, color sampler tool with this color sampler tool you can make a sample and as you can see uh, this sample will give the rgb code of the place you have clicked for example i have clicked on her eye this is the rgb code of her eye if i click on her dress this is the rgb code of her dress so there are two types of colors in photoshop one is this uh, uh, six digit color code which you can find with this eyedropper tool and another is rgb code which you can find with this color sampler tool so next we have is uh, spot healing brush tool uh, let me import another image to show you what this does let me import this image and uh, with this spot healing brush tool what you can do is you can remove uh, let me hit third bracket on my keyboard to increase the brush size if your caps lock is on then this uh, round brush will not show this plus brush will show and if your caps lock is off then this round brush will show uh, you can increase or decrease your uh, uh, brush sim from by hitting your third bracket on your keyboard or coming here you can decrease the brush size like this or increase the brush size like this so let me hit third bracket on your my keyboard and increase my brush size so before applying this brush what i can do is i can create a new layer like this by hitting it layer one and i can double click it to rename it to um, spot healing brush tool uh, double click on the text and then renaming it spot healing brush tool so now well i'm selected in this layer if i uh, select this spot healing brush tool and paint on this photo as you can see it does not remove so if you have a layer like this and then if you paint it the fo uh, spot will not be removed so you have to be make sh you have to make sure which layer you are uh, removing this spot from so i'm removing this spot from the background layer and then if i select this spot healing brush tool and then if i paint as you can see with a few clicks i can remove the spot of our haze face uh, with this spot healing brush tool next we have is healing brush tool let me hit ctrl z to undo that let me delete this layer and then if i hit third bracket on my keyboard i can increase the or decrease my brush size if my caps lock is on then this plus brush will show and if I, my caps lock is off then this round brush will show so let me uh, use my third bracket to adjust this brush size and then what i can do is i can hit alt on my keyboard uh, alt or to take a sample of our skin and then i can paint as you can see that plus sign is painting here uh, so this is how you remove spot with healing brush tool what uh, let me show you another thing if i hit alt and take a sample of our eye and then if i draw paint in a, another spot as you can see i can uh, make a full complete copy of her eye uh, under her eye you can do this type of work too with this uh, spot healing brush tool so this is one way of using uh, sp spot healing, healing brush tool uh, if you need to copy something and uh, draw it somewhere else you can easily do so with this healing brush tool let me hit ctrl z to undo that next we have is patch tool let me bring back her spot by hitting ctrl z patch tool is my most favorite tool for removing things for example if i draw a, a selection like this while well, i'm selected in this new selection and then if i drag the spot with my mouse and hit ctrl d to deselect as you can see the uh, spot has been removed completely now let me show you another thing for example uh, we have a photo like this uh, if you want to remove the uh, watermark of this photo you can just simply 
draw a selection like this and simply drag it like this and hit ctrl d to deselect boom it feels like this watermark was never here and then let me show you if i have another photo like this if i import this and as you can see it has a very big watermark like this no problem for patch tool well selected in the patch tool if you select this new selection and then if you make a selection of this entire watermark and then if you simply drag it on the top and hit ctrl d to deselect as you can see it looks like this spot was never here so this is a very powerful tool uh, you can use it in so many ways for example uh, we have another photo here let me import this and now if i uh, want to remove his face from this photo i can easily do so with this patch tool all i have to do is i have to draw a selection like this and then if i drag it and hit ctrl d to deselect while i'm selected in this new selection as you can see it looks like like his head was never there so you can remove anything you want with this patch tool this patch tool is my most favorite removing tool so that is that so i hope you have understood what what you can do with this patch tool so next what we have is let me hit ctrl z to undo him and next we have this content aware move tool what you can do with this content aware move tool is uh, while you are selected in this new selection if you make a selection of his head like this and then if you move it and then if you press enter as you can see it looks like his head was never there like it was always here you can hit ctrl d to deselect and for example uh, let me show you uh, in th this photo uh, there was a watermark here let me hit ctrl z to uh, bring back his watermark and then if you use this content aware tool and you make a selection like this and then if you move this watermark from one part to another hit enter as you can see it and then hit ctrl d as you can see it did a very good job of removing this watermark from one place to another so this is what you can do with this content aware move tool let me delete this photo next uh, let me delete this photo too next we have is red eye tool let me import a photo to show you what this red eye tool does uh, sometimes when you click a photo then you get red eye spot here in the eye so you can easily remove it with one click with this red eye tool if your pupil size is 50 percent and the darken amount is <coughs> set your pupil size to 50 percent and darken amount to 50 percent and then just simply click give one click in the red eyes red eye and as you can see it has fixed it you can also remove this red eye tool too with this just one click let me delete this photo uh, next we have is brush tool so uh, what uh, you can change a model's hair color with this brush tool uh, to show you that let me import another photo for example let me import this photo and then if your caps lock is on uh, let me hit third bracket on my keyboard to increase my brush if your caps lock is on then it will show a plus brush like this and if your caps lock is off then this round brush will appear so this is my brush tool now let me select lasso tool and let me select this new selection and with that i can make a selection of this model's hair like this so now uh, if i select this brush tool and let me change the hair color let me make her hair color uh, purple like this and then if i paint uh, as you can see my opposite is 100 percent that's why it is uh, too much flowing so let me change my opacity to 20 percent and change my flow value to 50 percent and then uh, let me hit ctrl z to let me select this layer and then let me hit ctrl z to uh, undo the stroke i have made with my brush and then let me change the flow value to 50 percent and opacity value to 20 percent then if i draw as you can see it is doing a very good job uh, of uh, changing her high hair color but i cannot draw outside this uh, selection i have made so uh, this is why i made this selection if you make uh, this selection very perfectly and then if you paint then I the uh, color will not flow everywhere let me hit ctrl d to deselect and then if i paint as you can see i can paint anywhere i want let me hit ctrl z to undo that let me hit ctrl plus to zoom in on this model's hair and then let me paint her hair uh, but uh, you can also paint her hair like this if you want um, uh, you have to be careful not to you know and then as you can see i have turned her hair into purple and it looks very fine and very beautiful so you can uh, change someone's hair color like this with this brush tool so next we have is pencil tool you can draw something in the photo with this pencil tool if you uh, 
hit hard bracket on your keyboard then you can increase the brush size of your pencil if your caps lock is on then it will show like a plus if your caps lock is off then it will show this round brush tool and then what you can do is you can create a new layer like this and then if you you can uh, draw something like this pencil tool is not that handy in photoshop so uh, if you draw things in this layer then if you deselect this layer as you can see all the spots uh, has been removed you can delete this layer so uh, or with this pencil tool you can if you you can also draw in the background like this you can hit ctrl z to undo this pencil brush strokes next we have this color replacement tool you can remove a models uh, you can you know uh, change a models hair color with this uh, color replacement tool for example uh, let me change this model's hair color into purple too so i have a value tolerance value of 30 percent here let me change the tolerance value to 20 percent let me increase my let me then um, oopsie let me select color replacement tool again let me hit third bracket to increase the brush size and then if i simply paint on her hair as you can see i am changing her hair color into purple so let me finish drawing it So this is what you can do for a, if you want to change someone's hair color with this uh, color replacement tool you can do so you can also change someone's dress color with this color replacement tool. Next we have is mixture brush tool you can use third bracket on your keyboard to increase or decrease your brush size if your caps lock is on then it will show this plus brush if your caps lock is off then this round brush will show and then if you select this mixture brush tool and paint it as you can see it will give a very gentle color in your photo. Uh, you can use this to you know give uh, special uh, effects in your photo so next we have is uh, that is all next we have this clone stamp tool clone stamp tool is very important we use this tool to remove spots from faces for example if i hit ctrl z and bring up back her spots of her faces then i can use third bracket on my keyboard to increase uh, her brush uh, increase this stamp tool's brush size if my caps lock is on then, then this plus brush will show if my caps lock is off then this round brush will show if i hit alt on my keyboard and then take a sample of her good skin and then if i paint it as you can see i have removed her spots completely and photoshop shows which part i have taken the sample from and for example let me hit ctrl to undo all of that if i take a sample of her eye with by hitting alt key on my keyboard and then clicking uh, near her eye and then if i sorry i am in the wrong layer if you are in the wrong layer then it will not work so you have to be careful which layer you are on let me delete this spot healing brush to layer and then select this background layer and then if i select hit alt key on my keyboard and then click on her eye i can draw an eye like this so this kind of weird things you can do with this clone stamp tool you can hit ctrl z to undo that and you can also remove your uh, uh, spots from photos or logos from your photos for example if i import this i have taken sample from uh, i think this photo and if i want i can draw an eye here as you can see like this so uh, wherever you take the sample and then you can draw that sample to any other image if you wish to like this you can hit ctrl z to undo that you can hit uh, third bracket on your keyboard and then if you hit alt and then take a sample from here and then if you paint as you can see it is showing that plus of where it is taking the sample from as you can see you can make uh, do a more better job of removing objects with this clone stamp tool uh, let me show you again with uh, another for example this photo as you can see this photo has a watermark if you want to remove this watermark perfectly what you can do is you can take a sample from this part of the sky and then if you sorry let me make my brush smaller hit ctrl z to undo that and let me hit alt on my keyboard and then if you if i uh, remove like this as you can see it did a very good job of removing this logo let me delete this photo and then uh, next we have is this photo if I import this and then if I hit alt on my key um, while well selecting in clone stamp tool if I hit alt on my keyboard and then if I paint on this photo uh, as you can see you can remove logos like this too so it is very important on where you are taking the sample from so to blend in perfectly take your sample accordingly and make sure this opacity and flow value is 100% so next tool we have is pattern stamp tool 
so you can draw pattern with this pattern sample there are a lot of samples for example tree sample is here if you draw let me you can hit third bracket on your keyboard to increase your brush size if your caps lock is on then this plus brush will show and if your caps lock is off then this round brush will show and then if you draw as you can see you have drawn a very beautiful pattern there are so many patterns here for example if you draw this grass pattern and then if you draw and then if you uh, uh, want to if you are designing a poster for uh, two clubs playing football you can just simply write uh, while well, you selected in this text tool and let me increase the text to 36 you can write and uh, let me make the text to roboto roboto bold and then if i write and let me change the text color to white and then if i write real madrid let me re uh, my caps lock is on mem a d r i d versus uh G l s i a chelsea and then if you select all uh, by hitting ctrl a and then if you this hit this center text as you can see the text is now in the middle and then if you put a football logo for example you go to google and then you write football and click on images and this football football png that way you will get a transparent football so this is a transparent football and you save image and show in folder import the football and then uh, if I for example uh, let me hit enter and place it and then if I select this lasso tool or just let me select this quick selection or the object selection tool and make my mood in rectangle and then if I select this football as you can see this football is selected then if I go to layer new layer via copy and then if I delete this layer by simply hitting this delete layer and then hit yes as you can see this football is now in the shape which i want and then if i make it smaller like this uh, and put it in the middle and place my text perfectly like this as you can see it is it has become a very cheap model <laughs> uh, cheap design for if you have a if you are designing a sports matches design you can do so with this pattern stamp tool very easily if you download a football image from Google like this, you might get copyright strike. To avoid copyright strike, go to Google and then type free pick. Free pick like this and then enter into free pick. Then hit this www.freepick.com link and you are in free pick. You will get so many beautiful images and vectors from this site that you can use your in your project and without, without anyone claiming copyright in your work. Then you simply write football uh, in this search box and then if I search like this as you can see the uh, american football and this is rest of the world's football avoid vectors that has this crown sign so you have to pay to uh, buy this vector but this one's free and this one will work for you so you simply click it and then you simply hit this download button if you click it then uh, these two options will appear you don't have to go premium you just simply hit this free download and then as you can see download like this and you will get uh, your vector like this and you can simply click extract here and uh, as you can see this is the football's uh, photo if you use this one then you will get no copyright you have a license free license like this and you can give attribution if you want so next tool we have is history brush tool so what this history brush tool does is i go to this background layer and then delete it as you can see uh, this my two layers are still there and all the edits i have done in the background layer has been removed with this history brush tool let me show you in this image i have uh, removed a uh, man from this photo if i select this history brush tool and draw it as you can see all the changes i have done in this photo is back in this photo i have painted her hair color actually her hair color looks very beautiful so i do not want to remove it next we have is art history brush tool so what this art history brush tool does is to show you this art history brush tool uh, let me show you in this photo let me create a new layer by hitting here and then if i select this art history brush tool it has uh, if you hi hi use third bracket on your keyboard you can increase the brush like this or decrease the brush and if your caps lock is on then it will show this plus brush and if your caps lock is on then this round brush will show you can also change your brush size from here if you want to then it has as you can see the opacity is 100 percent and the style is tight short
so it has so many ty sh t styles then if you draw in this tree let me make the brush a little bit more smaller you can make a photos background like uh, in cartoon you can change a photos background into cartoon with this tool for example if i keep drawing like this with this tight st short style i can change the photos background like this very easily and as you can see you can give it a arti artistic background like this let me show you this eraser tool eraser tool is very self explanatory so if you hit third bracket on your keyboard you can increase your brush like this if your caps lock is on this then this plus brush will show and if your caps lock is off then this round brush will show and if you select this eraser tool and you can erase your photo like this if you want let me hit control z to undo that there is another option that is erase to history if you are checked in this eraser to history while selected this eraser tool you can uh, erase the photo to history how it was before it also as you can see it is uh, this is this was the original photo you can hit control z to undo that next we have is background eraser tool uh, let me import another photo for example this photo and so what you can do with this background eraser tool is if you if you hit third bracket on your keyboard then this brush will become bigger if your caps lock is on then this brush will show like a plus and if your caps lock is off then it will show like this round and if you keep clicking like this after selecting this background eraser tool as you can see you can remove background of your photo very easily with this background eraser tool if you keep painting then it will erase the background you can hit control z to undo everything you did next we have we have is magic eraser tool so if you uh, sel are selected with in this magic eraser tool you can remove the entire background with one click if it has missed somewhere you click it again and as you can see it did a very good job of removing the background so this was magic eraser tool uh, next we have this gladiant tool so to show you the gladiant tool let me open a new page by selecting file new and uh, let me name it test gladiant tool then let me make the white to 2000 pixel and height to 2000 pixel and let me hit ok as you can see a page has been created now if i choose this style and draw a line top to bottom with my mouse this gives a very beautiful background like this let me hit ctrl z to undo that now if i select this style this style and make a draw, draw a line from top to bottom it makes a rounded gradient let me hit ctrl z to undo that next we have is angle gradient so if i draw a line like this as you can see it has drawn a deep line like this and a light gradient in this side of the image you can hit ctrl z to undo that next we have is reflected gradient then if you draw a line like this top to bottom it will make a gradient like this let me hit ctrl z to undo that next we have this star like gradient tool so if you if you draw a line like this it will draw a star like gradient like this so let me hit ctrl z to undo that uh, so let me choose this linear gradient and draw a line top to bottom like this and then let me go to for example this photo and make a selection with this quick selection uh, object selection tool and in rectangle mode let me make a selection of this model then let me go to layer new layer via copy and this is the model's photo let me hit co uh, copy this layer by hitting ctrl c and let me come back to this gradient tool and hit ctrl v and put the model in this photo so let me hit ctrl t as you can see this photo is really big so let me hit ctrl minus to zoom out in this photo and let me make this model smaller and let me hit ctrl plus to zoom in this model and as you can see uh, it has now turned into a very beautiful design uh, you can do things like this with this gradient tool so this is what uh, i designed like this and worked at a company for five years doing photoshop design so it, this gradient tool and this models cut off images made my career so you can do it too like this very easily and wrote a few text and put on the logo and boom you have a very beautiful professional design ready to sell so next we have this paint bucket tool what you can do with this paint bucket tool is for example a lot of people wants uh, let me hit ctrl z to undo everything i did with colors in this 
photoshop and then select paint bucket tool and let me choose the blue color and hit ok and then if i put the blue, blue color then as you can see photoshop did a very good job of making the background color blue so you can change background colors like this and then if i uh, create a new and make it a paint bucket tool and hit ok and as you can if i while well, selected in blue i can change the background color to blue i can change it to any color i want to this orange and like this let me delete this photo so next we have is thread. so next we have is blood tool let me show you th what this blood tool does by if you hit third bracket on your keyboard then you can increase your brush like this if your caps lock is on then it will show like a plus if your caps lock is off then it will show like a minus then you can blur your background with this blood tool uh, i have blurred her face with this blood tool like this let me hit ctrl z to undo that you can also blur background with this blood tool next we have sharpen tool so you can hit third bracket on your keyboard to increase or decrease brush size you can also hit uh, caps lock if your caps lock is on then it will show like a plus if your caps lock is off then this round uh, circle circular blush will show with this sharpen tool you can make her face sharp like this let me hit ctrl z to undo that next we have a smudge tool so you, you can hit third bracket on your keyboard to increase the brush size like this if your caps lock is on then this plus will show if your caps lock is off then this rounded brush will show you can make this model thinner with this uh, smudge tool like this uh, you can make uh, turn her into a cartoon with this much tool but the problem is that uh, the photo gets a little bit blurry too uh, so you can you know use it creatively uh, like you want for example let me hit ctrl z to undo everything i did here uh, for example her hair in this part if i want to blend it inside with her other parts you can do so with this tool like this so don't do it too much okay that was smudge tool next we have is touch tool you can if your exposure change your exposure value to 100 percent for example you can brighten someone's eye let me hit ctrl z to undo all the changes i did in this photo then you can if you want you can increase the exposure of her eye with this uh, dodge tool uh, you can use third bracket on your keyboard to adjust the brush size if your caps lock is on then this plus brush will show if your caps lock is off then this round brush will show so then if you click as you can see i am brightening her eye so you can bright her eye like this or you can increase her skin tone very easily with this tool as you can see i'm doing it here so let me hit ctrl z to undo all of that next we have here is burn tool if you want you can <coughs> decrease her eyes exposure and make her, her eye dark with this burn tool or <coughs> if you want you can decrease her face tone with this burn tool with my exposure value was set to 50 percent you can hit ctrl z to undo all of that next we have is smudge tool so if you want to uh, in a photo if you want your subjects for example if you want this model's face uh, model to be black and white and the background to be colorful you can do s that very easily with this sponge tool for that uh, you ha your mood is need to be set to desaturate and your flow is need to be 100 and then if you paint as you can see i'm making my subject black and white so you can make her black and white like this uh, and if your mood is in saturate then you can bring back her color by painting um, you can increase the so if you so let me hit ctrl z to undo all of that so next we have is uh, saturate mood so with this saturate mood you can bright mane, brighten the colors in the background like this with this saturate mood so the the photo will look more vibrant like this so that you can hit ctrl z to undo that so with this saturate mood you can increase the colors and with this desaturate mood you can remove colors and make something turn into black and white uh, you let me hit ctrl z to undo all of that this was before wow a lot of colors next we have is pen tool so with pen tool you can cut someone very accurately with pen tool for example if i show you in this photo 
uh, let me hit ctrl z and make sure i am in the right layer in the background layer let me hit ctrl d to deselect and then if i use pen tool to cut this model i can easily do so if i click a point here and then i have to drag a little then for example i have made a mistake here as you can see if i hit alt button on my keyboard and push it a little and alt button on my keyboard and push this a little as you can see i have fixed this light and i can make points like this for example if i mistake make a mistake then i can hit while making points then i can hit control on my keyboard and then i can fix the points location very easily like this i can also hit control z to undo that then i can keep making points like this so i hope you have understood if you make a point outside hit control and move it where you want it to be and if your line is a little bit uh, not straight like this you can hit alt on your keyboard and then hit it like this and fix this line very easily just like that so all the professionals in the world use pen tool to cut images because uh, it makes a very beautiful selection like this and this uneven places as you can see we uh, don't select this uneven places because in big photos this uneven places look uh, bad this small space like here you can avoid it and make a very straight and perfect and beautiful selection with this pen tool uh, so as you can see so if you make a mistake hit alt and fix this line like this and connect the starting point with the ending point you have got a very perfect selection you can hit ctrl minus to zoom out from the image and then click on selection and feather radius let's give feather radius zero and then hit ok then you go to layer new layer via copy and you have a very perfect selection like this hit ctrl c and then test this gradient tool let me delete this previous image and hit ctrl v then let me hit ctrl t as you can see this photo is very big so i am going to hit ctrl minus on my keyboard make it smaller and then i'm going to make this model in a perfect size and then i'm going to place her with this tick mark so my design is ready so next tools are inside pen tool are not that important next we have text tool so i can write something with text tool in this photo for example i can write uh, let me uh, 50 percent and then i can write discount let me write 50 percent in one layer and then let me write discount in another layer and then i can move it uh, so i let me write this discount in capital letters and then if i want to change the color i can easily do so by simply clicking on here and then clicking the white color while i'm selected in the layer and then hit ok as you can see this discount has become white and then if i want to change the color of the 50 percent i can select the 50 select it by hitting ctrl a and then i can change the color from here and turn it into white like this and then if i want to make the 50 percent more big i can do so by as you can see the 72 is the highest value here so if you want to oh, i didn't write the percent so let me write the percent and then uh, let me place it above the discount so if i want to make this text more bigger than 72 uh, 72 i can do so by hitting ctrl and shift at the same time and then oh sorry i made a mistake so i well, selected in the move tool and then i can make it big make the text bigger like this and while well, selected in the perfect accurate layer so i'll select it in the move tool i can make the discount bigger like this too so if i want to make that 50 percent more big i can simply do so by just by dragging like this and make this text accurate and then um, if i want to make this text color more uh, if i want to change the uh, style of this text i can do so by selecting the text and then coming here and then there are so many styles of this text as you can see there is arc so and then you can control the bend like this horizontal distortion vertical distortion you can change them to there are so many options all work in the same way if you give none then no text will no style will be applied and then we have this 50 percent so uh, for if i want to make this text more visible for example let me show you i can right click on this text layer and give it uh, select blending options so let me show you just one this stroke so you can give stroke to inside or outside <coughs> you can give stroke to inside or outside of your image uh, let me show, show you by increasing the size then you will understand perfectly this is outside and if, if i show inside then this is inside let me give it outside and you can also change the color of the stroke uh, let me change it to a little whitish type of color like this and hit ok 
and let me change the size to this much and then hit ok so as you can see I have made a very beautiful design just like that that if I put a logo of the of a brand for example what is the address brand's name USA top dress brand top dress brand what do I have Nike La Ralph Lauren so if I click this Ralph Lauren Ralph Lauren then hit will then logo right logo and uh, this is the logo of Ralph Lauren so then if I download this logo from here and hit uh, file save images and then if I save it show in folder and then if I uh, put it in this Photoshop and put it here as you can see or I can make it in the size of my 50% discount and hit hit this check mark as you can see it looks like a very beautiful design I can change placements I think it does not look perfect so let me increase my discounts text a little bit more bigger let me hit select move tool and make my 50% bigger a little and you can see it looks like a very beautiful professional design so you can create beautiful designs like this with uh, a simple cutoff model and a text tool and a logo so next we have is what is this path selection tool this is for for example if you have selected as made a selection with this pen tool and if you select this path selection tool then you can move this pen tool selection that's all it does so it is not so important tool uh, next we have let me create a file new and uh, uh, shapes tool and let me make it 2000 by 2000 pixels and make my resolution 300 pixels per inch and hit ok so we have here is rectangle tool uh, well selected in this color let me change it to any color I want and then let me select rectangle tool then if I draw as you can see I have drawn a rectangle so you can also use this rectangle inside uh, to design your layers like this for example if I make a rectangle like this and then if I put it below the 50 percent as you can see my text looks more visible then if I change the opacity of this rectangle to 50% as you can see this looks more professional I would say so this is what you can do with this uh, rectangular mark tool you can make your text more visible so next we have is rounded rectangle tool you can draw rounded rectangle with this rounded rectangle tool next we have a piece tool you can draw a piece with this tool you can if you hit shift it's going to make a perfect circle every time if you don't hit shift it's gonna uh, make circles like this now you have uh, next we have polygon tool you can draw polygons with this polygon tool next we have line tool you can draw line with this line tool next we have custom shape tool so there are so many custom shapes here there are leaf trees you can draw leaf trees like this or like this or like this you can draw leaf trees like this or now there are other shapes like uh, let me close this wild animals you can draw wild animals like this or you can draw wild animals like this uh, or uh, now there are some more there are boats so you can draw boats like this oh sorry you have to be selecting the boat and then drawing so let me show you wha what other uses of uh, these shapes tools have for example uh, uh, let me show you in this photo if I import it here in this photo this boat is fake so you can uh, this boat is a photoshop's boat let me show you how you can make boats like this for example in this photo let me import this photo simply by dragging and dropping it here it has a boat too but this boat is fake too so what you can do is you can 
select the patch tool and select make a selection like this and remove the logo very fast uh, by simply by dragging your mouse like this then select it and hit ctrl d to remove your logo then you can select uh, remove this board very easily with patch tool like this hit ctrl d to deselect and then if you want to change this board you can go to this uh, custom shapes tool then you go to boards and there are so many boards you can choose from if you if i choose this board and if i draw a board if i hit shift then it's going to make a perfect board if i don't hit shift then it's going to make a distorted board if i hit shift and then if i draw as and then oh this color so color is very important too let me go back to layer and then let me change the color to black of this board let me uh, so i change the color to black and then let me draw a board so then if i uh, let me hit control shift z i by mistake hit control z let me hit control shift z to bring back the board and then if i select move tool and select this layer let me hit control d to deselect and then if i place the board like this as you can see i have changed that board you can also change your boards like this in photoshop add your add element like this and make your photo look more perfect very easily with photoshop so next we have is hand tool that is not very important next we have a zoom tool uh, if this plus is selected then you can zoom in inside your photo this minus is selected then you can zoom out from photo like this <laughs> you can also do that with hitting control plus on your keyboard or hitting control minus on your keyboard to zoom out so that was all the tools of photoshop i hope now you will be able to make beautiful designs like this and uh, uh F uh, let me show you a design for example let me delete this photo and let me delete this photo and then let me import this photo on let me delete this thing too i don't need this let me import this photo and then as you can see you can make this type of design now very easily with using these tools and the things i have ex explained so i hope uh you learn so i hope you have learned something from this tutorial you can subscribe to my channel to support me thank you bye bye